Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to Peru. My name is Peter Diekmann. I'm a work and organizational psychologist, and I'm working with the Danish Institute for Medical Simulation in Copenhagen in Denmark as the head of research. I understand that you are gathered today to discuss the possibilities that simulation offers for improving the care and the safety for patients. That's a topic that has been very dear to me for many years. I started to work in simulation in 1999 and since then was interested in how we can use simulation to optimize the interplay between human technology and organization. I think we are on a good way to use simulation to train people across their uh, different professions, across their different experience levels. And I think we are doing a good job in preparing them better to actually apply what they know under the difficult, sometimes challenging conditions of actual healthcare. You have to work with people that you might know not very well. Maybe you know them, but you don't like them. You might have challenges in the material that you use. You might have challenges in the organizational processes. I think simulation offers a great tool to prepare people to handle these difficulties when they actually try to implement the new treatment algorithm, for example. I also think that we can use simulation in a way where we actually try to analyze the healthcare system. How do problems evolve? How can we avoid them? But also, maybe even more importantly, how can we use simulation to help people recreate their good ideas? Not only the brilliant ideas, but also those uh, more regular good ideas that make a difference for patients and for the healthcare professionals. If we can use simulation to actually understand how people are really working and what their real challenges are when they put the treatment algorithm into practice, I think we can learn a lot to improve patient safety and the quality of care and also have a good impact on the overall processes in the healthcare system. In this sense, I'm very much looking forward to hopefully being able to travel to Peru later this year to discuss these issues with you and to learn from you how simulation could actually be integrated into the healthcare system in Peru. In this sense, I would like to send my best regards again from Copenhagen and I wish you a success successful meeting. Bye bye.